Hey, this is Wolf from Armory Terrain, and I'm back for you today to do another Audi review. Today, we have the Work Zone wood burning tool. 30 watts with all sorts of attachments. So, how about I pull the shrink wrap off this and change the camera angle and show you how it works. Okay, let's start with basics. This case is actually not a bad case and the latch will probably last three to six months before it breaks, maybe even longer. Now I should probably also say that this is not a paid review. I bought this one at price point was $15, which I thought was not too bad. Now it is a corded wood burner. Um, the cord's about a meter long, so a little sh on the short side, but it's not too bad. What I did like was it came with this, which is a stand, which means when you put it down, you don't get burnt stuff everywhere. It's even designed with this collar here to click into the stand. So I thought that was pretty cool. Right, now for all the attachments. It starts off with a fairly um, sharp burning tool. Don't know how well we can see that one. Come on, Wolf, learn how the camera works. So that's not bad. It's a simple screw in, screw out proposition. Starting off, we have a whole bunch of little stamp designs to burn into things. Now I thought that was pretty cool. We've got the triangle, and we have these other eight as well, which I'm seeing as, as a circle with lines, a spiral, a snowflake, a star, I'm not sure, a moon, a sun, and a flower. Now they're pretty cool, I think. So we've got, as I said, nine stamps, a point, a chisel, another round point, a spade bit, looks like a round, it is with a cross on it, which is interesting, and some more assorted bits. Now for the question is how well does it work? So. I have some foam and timber here, and we'll find out. Now, I should have probably started off with a point of some sort, but it comes with a hot knife, as if I wasn't gonna play with it first. But, in this here instructions, it does say, in big letters, warning, do not connect to mains outlet supply until assembly is complete. Failure to comply could result in accidental starting and may cause serious personal injury. Kind of a good thing to have a read of. But it seems to heat up nice and quickly. So let's see how a hot knife cuts through this foam. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it's still heating up, guys. That's two layers of yoga mat. That, that's not bad. Let's have a look at some floor tile. Now, still don't know how long it takes to heat up properly. So we're just winging it here. But let's see how it looks with the floor tile. You know the whole knife, hot knife through butter thing? Yeah, hot knife through floor mat. That's pretty sweet. I'm applying almost no pressure to that. And yes, I know, I know, you could just cut it with a razor. Okay, 
another cut. Fine, and third cut. I'm actually pretty impressed with this little hot knife. It's only a tiny little blade, but it gets the job done. Let's see what it does to balsa wood. Wow, you can actually hear it sizzle as it touches the balsa wood. That's pretty funky. Okay, so I'm going to unplug this and sit it on its stand, which is kind of cool. And okay, that, that got hot. Check out the discoloration, if you can see it, on this blade. The bottom of the blade has actually turned blue. So that, that's some heat coming out of this little thing. There, you can see it in that angle. So I'm going to let this cool down for a couple more minutes and then show you the next bit. Okay, now that I've put in this first stamp, I've got the yoga mat here. Let's see how it does on it. So I was wrong, it's not actually a star. It's a little fan or whirly gig of some description. Okay, let's try it on the floor mat. There we go, it's getting on camera. And a deep one. Okay, if you leave it on the thing, it will sink all the way through. Lightest touch leaves a decent imprint. So obviously I've got lots of practice to do, but I'm sure I'll get time to do that. Now let's look at it on some balsa wood. Okay. Well, it marks the balsa wood quite well. This is a thickish piece. Let's try an old bed slat. Now, of course, I just knocked over the case of all the little bits. So once I've finished filming this, I'll go go and look for them on the floor before my dog finds them. Okay, this is pretty impressive. Now for the final test. Old bit of fence paling. At one point it had pirate written on it and then it got cut up. So let's see how it goes on this. Okay. I'm pretty impressed. Only problem is where are we? Only problem is that some of these sparks get onto that. And it lights up a little bit. But that's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, I'm going to go pick up all these bits and pieces and give you my final thoughts. Well, here I am with my final thoughts on the Work Zone Wood Burning Kit 30 Watt from Audi. The instruction manual is pretty good. The accessory range is great. 
it's a bit of a pain that you've got to wait for it to cool down entirely before you can unscrew it. The soldering iron bit itself isn't bad for hanging onto, it's got a nice rubberized grip. The price point of $15 is outstanding. Um, most important question for me is, can I make wood grain on foam with it? Answer is, yeah, I, th I think I can. So, pro points, it's cheap. It's got good attachments that don't wobble or fall out. And it does the job of them after it. Bad points, you've got to wait for it to cool down before you can change tips. But other than that, I think this is quite a good little tool. And once again, I'll say this is not a sponsored review. I bought this one for my own use, and I just thought I'd share with the internet and my viewers what I think of the WorkZone Wood Burning Kit 30 Watt Pyrography Kit thingy from Audi. Anyway, it's a soldering iron by any other name. It does have a tip for actually putting solder on circuits, so it's not bad for that either. So this is Wolf from Armoury Train with a review instead of making stuff, but stay tuned, I will be making stuff soon.